The conditions of birth escape individual control, determining whether someone is born in a privileged country or faces challenges in less fortunate places. The central question lies in how we define an advantageous country and happiness within its borders. The appealing concept of a nation blessed with abundant natural resources and gushing oil stands out. Interestingly, Venezuela fits this profile, holding the world's largest proven oil reserve, but grapples with political unrest and hyperinflation undermining purchasing power. Currently, Venezuela shows some economic improvement compared to the last three years. Situated in the far north of South America, it borders the Amazon to the south, Guiana to the east, Colombia to the west, and the Caribbean Sea to the north. In terms of geographical extent, Venezuela is considerably vast, surpassing many other global countries. However, despite this apparent wealth in resources, it faces challenges in the global oil market. The capital of this country marked by intense debates is Caracas, housing a population of 28 million people. From above, the city offers an impressive landscape, but inside it's a scene of chaos. Endless queues are a common sight in Venezuela, where people face shortages of practically every necessity, even in an oil-rich country. Why then, this scarcity to the point where people wait for gasoline for hours, or even nights? The local currency has completely lost its value, forcing people to carry large amounts of money. The country is facing a serious crisis related to its currency, the Venezuelan Bolivar, which is extremely devalued compared to the dollar and the euro. To illustrate, officially, one dollar is equivalent to 35 times more than the Venezuelan currency, a truly disastrous situation for the country's economy. Moreover, the Venezuelan government continues to eliminate zeros from the currency, further exacerbating this disparity. Currently, even the Syrian pound has a higher value than the Venezuelan Bolivar. Imagining relying on foreign countries for almost every need, while the local currency lacks purchasing power, is challenging. The government's response is to print more money to acquire goods abroad, leading to rampant inflation, resulting in absurd situations, such as a block of cheese costing 40 US dollars. The current estimated inflation in the country is over 10,000%. Despite its wealth in oil, Venezuela faces substantial challenges in its oil industry due to embargoes that limit its ability to trade oil internationally. Additionally, difficulties in processing its own oil result in underutilized resource wealth. To meet its needs, the country imports refined oil from Iran in an unequal agreement where they send unprocessed crude oil in exchange for ready-to-use oil, benefiting Iran. These economic challenges are evident in the long lines at gas stations, as fuel shortages are a reality. Moreover, ATM withdrawals are restricted to only $2 per week, contrasting with other countries with economies in crisis, such as Lebanon, where it is possible to withdraw $100. This results in a lack of trust in the Venezuelan banking system, leading people to bring substantial amounts of dollars from abroad. Even with globally valid credit cards, ATMs often run out of money. Additionally, cash transactions are also problematic due to a lack of change, harming the local economy and tourism. Faced with these economic difficulties, local residents have sought creative solutions. For instance, when making purchases in restaurants, many customers pay in dollars through U.S. bank accounts, avoiding the devaluation of the Venezuelan Bolivar. This practice is common, with every middle-class family in Venezuela having a U.S. bank account. Unfortunately, this strategy does not contribute to the Venezuelan government, as people prefer to avoid local banks at all costs. The irony of the situation is notable, considering that the monthly minimum wage in the country is only 130 Venezuelan bolivars, approximately $5, an amount impossible to sustain a life for a month. To mitigate this crisis, the Venezuelan government occasionally offers free public transportation and distributes food assistance to the population. On some occasions, even gasoline at gas stations is provided for free. However, the average monthly income of workers in Venezuela was about $45 last year and has now increased to about $70. Venezuelan citizens are demanding a minimum monthly wage of at least $500 to survive. But they know it is an unattainable goal, leading tens of thousands of them to flee to Colombia or Brazil, where conditions are tough but less severe. It is paradoxical to consider that, not too long ago, Venezuela stood as one of the most civilized and prosperous countries in its region, leading Latin America just three decades ago. Originating from the Middle East, such as Lebanon and Syria, migrants moved there in search of a better life, 
contributing to the country's development. However, Venezuela's trajectory took a significant turn after 1998, when leaders following President Hugo Chavez abandoned an economy based on production, opting for an excessively oil-dependent economy. Foreign companies were expelled, with the government proclaiming, if you have your brands, we have our oil. Initially, the shift went unnoticed as Chavez redistributed wealth from the rich to the majority poor of the country, who fervently supported him, ensuring his victory in all elections. However, fearing uprisings from the majority poor, the Venezuelan elite abandoned the country, and today, products from internationally recognized brands are rare in Venezuela. For example, there is a fast food chain similar to McDonald's, but it operates under a different name using acquired naming rights. They have even adapted their products to circumvent high costs, selling a crispy dough called yuca instead of french fries. The departure of the private sector and the Venezuelan elite had a substantial impact on the country's economy, leading it to experience highs and lows. This unintended change inadvertently triggered a process of deterioration, intensified by the death of Hugo Chavez in 2013, leaving behind an oil-rich state rummaging through garbage for food. The current president, Nicolas Maduro, assumed office, but his leadership failed to restore the country's prosperity. Venezuela faced electricity shortages, with widespread blackouts disrupting public transportation and plunging the country into darkness. This situation left the population disheartened, and to this day, the country has not fully recovered. The local population is welcoming. However, when visiting the country, it is extremely important to take precautions to protect your valuables. The economic crisis has exacerbated crime rates, turning Venezuela into one of the most dangerous countries in the world. There are areas in the capital where even the police avoid entering, as stopping at red lights is risky due to kidnappings and robberies. The situation is so critical that the Venezuelan police do not issue fines for those who do not stop at traffic lights. The population of Venezuela yearns for a savior. Long ago, leader Simón Bolívar liberated Venezuela, Ecuador, and Colombia from Spanish rule under the banner of Gran Colombia, ensuring independence for the region. Today, Latin America desperately seeks economic salvation. The country's nature is undeniably captivating. After all, the world-famous Angel Falls are located right there. Known as the highest waterfall in the world, with a height of approximately 1,000 meters, it contributes to the fascination of the region. The area's difficult accessibility significantly increases the costs associated with witnessing this wonder. To examine the waterfall up close, a helicopter is required. Discovered by James Angel in 1933, the waterfall has since been named after him. Although the country's nature is perfectly preserved, it is never possible for ordinary people to get here by helicopter. Since almost all sectors of the country are stagnant, very few activities can attract people and make them forget the stress of life in the country. That's why people come to Colombia if they want to have fun and let their minds wander. When you look at the faces of people in the country, you realize that they are really unhappy and depressed. There is no enthusiasm in the city, there's no purchasing power, and there's no activity in their country that makes life enjoyable. Poor conditions prevail on the roads, in buildings, and among people in Venezuela. The daily routine boils down to waking up, going to work, and going to sleep. But there are those who defy this order, looking for illegal ways to earn money and, in some cases, choosing to flee the country. Beyond these realities, a distinct community emerges in the Venezuelan jungles, particularly in the Amazonian geographical vastness to the south of the country, living a tribal existence. Isolated from the impacts of inflation and purchasing power, these individuals show little interest in the country's events and prefer to live by their own rules, hidden deep in the Amazon. Their hospitality towards outsiders is limited, making them one of the most isolated tribes in the world with internal disagreements. The state authorities offer assistance to those who decide to leave this tribe, but recognize the difficulties in training those who are already rooted in their customs. Venezuelans distinguish these tribal members by their skin pigmentation, which is notably darker than the urban population, and many of them have difficulty speaking Spanish, resulting in a significant language barrier. Against this backdrop, it is imperative that Venezuela undergoes a comprehensive overhaul, implementing urgent economic and political reforms. Attracting investors and foreign currency are crucial to efficiently processing the country's oil resources and attracting tourists. 
Otherwise, Venezuela will remain a country with paradisical geography, but no attraction to visit. Thank you for staying until the end. Tell us below if you've ever been to Venezuela. Watch the video that appears on your screen. You'll be impressed.